Hey everybody, Tim here. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes this morning uh, telling you about something uh, that I've gotten really excited about. Um, something that I sort of stumbled on by accident, uh, but I'm really glad I did. And it's uh, sending me down a bit of a rabbit trail. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to some of you uh, because today we're gonna talk about uh, Novo Guitars. And, I mean, many of you probably already know about these. There are YouTubers in the universe who have a much wider audience than I do, uh, who are big fans of these. Um, but I thought that because I sort of got surprised by owning one and then two, um, that maybe just a regular Joe's um, ideas about what makes these guitars unique and special, in my opinion, um, might be helpful. So uh, this one here is a Cirrus T, in case you're not familiar with the models. Um, and this is the first one that I got. Um, I'm a bit of a serial guitar buyer and seller. Um, I like guitars, I always have. My first probably real job um, was at a guitar store. Um, and uh, I've always been one of those guys who likes gear just as much as I like playing the gear. So um, if I get the chance to, to try something out or I see something as a deal and I think that I can play it and enjoy it for a little while and then move it along, um, I do that. And um, just to get this out of the way, these are like not inexpensive guitars, okay? Um, but I think there's a really good reason for that and we'll, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, so because they're not inexpensive, like usually this price point isn't something that I would, I would have bought for myself. I think the most expensive guitar I've ever had before this one, um, well, I've, ha I've had a lot of nice guitars, but just in terms of the money outlay, um, I thought these were priced out of my price point. Uh, and this one came up by accident. I was surfing reverb one morning and holy crumbs somebody selling one for what I knew was a really, really inexpensive price, a really good deal. Uh, and worst case scenario, I was gonna make some money on this guitar. So I got in my car, I took my son, we went on an adventure uh, about an hour and a half from where I live, guitar safari I like to call it sometimes. And we got this Cirrus T. And immediately the first thing that I noticed was just how light it is. This guitar I think weighs something like 6.2 pounds. Um, they use tempered pine, so roasted pine for their bodies, um, and uh, pine is a very light wood, um, and the roasting I think helps with that process as well. All the moisture is out of it, or most of the moisture anyway, and so so light. And then I put my hand on the neck. So so thing number one is just I think your love for a guitar probably comes down to how it feels in your hands, um, and the neck on this guitar. And the feel of it is amazing. Um, so a, as, as, a, as a contrast, like I've owned custom, not pro, custom built Sir guitars, custom built Tom Anderson guitars, uh, custom built, sorry, team built Fender custom shop guitars, um, Gibson custom shop guitars. Like I've, I've, I've had my hands on them all or owned them all. All of those I mentioned I've owned except for Gibson custom shop. Um, but I've, but I've been able to play a bunch of those. And, and this is as good or better than all of them to me. Um, I've had the chance to hold and play a couple of Fender master built guitars, and I think this is more comparable to that. They're just, like I live in Canada, okay, so fret sprout is a huge issue. The previous owner did a great job keeping it, but I also think that, that has something to do with the craftsmanship and how they put it together. Um, I'm gonna try my darndest to keep them from doing that. Uh, but I think the roasted maple necks um, help with that. Um, the, the rosewood appears to me to be on a whole other level, like it's hard and not very porous and smooth. Um, so I think the fit and the finish, speaking of which, this one is like a paint over paint. And I saw in another YouTube video, somebody was talking about how people say that Novo finishes are like 
oh, what was the word they used? Like a, like a suggestion. It's so thin, like so thin. I don't know if you can see on the back where it's, um, where it's gone down. And I mean, the turquoise on the back is almost non-existent. Same thing on the front. So this is turquoise over three-tone sunburst, if that's not super obvious. Um, so three tones underneath, and then they kind of scrape away some of that, you know, very thin nitro finish. Um, and that's cool. I like it. I don't know how you feel about relics, but I like them. So fit and finish, top notch. Um, I love that they're unique. I love that they don't look exactly like anything else. That it's if you look around, you can find the things that they borrowed from, you know. But there's nothing out there right now that's exactly this. And that was one of the things that really bothered me. I had a a, a, a no caster. It was my first real telly. Um, you know, I, I I decided to go sort of all in, and tellies were a revelation to me. So they've kind of become my number one guitar lately. Um, but one thing that I, it, it played great, it had a big huge neck on it, felt great. This one is not nearly that big. Um, this one would be, you know, a chunky C probably. Um, I think that's what they, they refer to it as as well. Um, it's like 0.86 to 0.98 or something. So a little smaller down here, a little bigger down here. My no caster was like, like, a, like a one inch neck all the way down. And uh, it was great, it sounded great. But it looked like every Telecaster on earth. And, you know, I know guitar players are a huge paradox in that we want to be rebels and we want to be conservative when it comes to our guitars. And like everything else, we want to be seen as a rebel. When it comes to guitar, we want to own 59 bursts and, you know, 52 tellies and 60 strats for a large part, you know, not everybody falls into that category, but, but we have a hard time with things that are different. I was looking for something that was different, but not weird. And I think that they've done a beautiful job with the body shape and the elements and the symmetry and the lines. I just, it's a, just a beautiful, unique guitar. Even the, the way that the pick guards are shaped and the control plates are, are custom. It's, it's not like anything else. And, uh, and I love that. I think it's pretty cool. I guess the, the, the next thing I really enjoy about these guitars is that I know that they chose premium parts for everything. Um, the wiring is done by Emerson. The pickups are done by Lindy Fralin. Uh, it's Jeskar frets and clay dots and, you know, premium finishes and just everything in this Goto Bridge, everything that they chose for this guitar. There's no shortcuts, I guess that's what, um, that's what I'm saying. Which maybe leads me to the last thing. I, I said at the beginning that, um, you know, the only guitar I ever picked up, by the way, I'll just swap out here because I got the T. And then the same guy I bought the T from was like, you know, I have a J as well. And I sort of jokingly said to him like, um, Hey, if you ever decide to sell that J, let me know. And I thought it would be like months and months down the road. He called me up the next week and he was like, Hey, I think I might, I think I might want to move it. How quickly can you get the scratch together? And I had just bought a guitar to flip. And, um, and so I used that in a trade with him and then I'm getting this J before I've never, I've never had a, 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 a J, a jazz master style guitar before. Um, and I'm still not 100% certain if it's, if it's me or not, um, but it's beautiful. The body's more rounded and contoured. This is like a slab body like a, like a Telecaster is, and this is rounded like a J is. And, um, you know, uh, the P90s are, are cool. They're, again, they're Lindy Fraley P90s and a, and a proper mastery bridge, not like some knockoff thing. Um, or sorry. Uh, lesser quality thing because I suppose Mastery didn't invent the bridge, uh, but they they're sort of known for perfecting the J style bridge. Um, body checking is beautiful, you know. Um, some might say like the relicking jobs aren't always realistic, um, but that's uh, one of the things I I think you buy yourself when you have a, a guitar that. Um, 
isn't anybody else's guitar. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's realistic because it's what Novo does. Um, it's not, you know, does this look like a 60s Fender? No, it doesn't look like a 60s Fender. It's not supposed to. So it looked like a 50s Fender. No, it's not supposed to look like a 50s guitar or a 60s guitar or any other vintage guitar. It's supposed to look like a Novo. And this is how they want them to look. Um, so lastly, I, I, I mean, I think with, sorry. So lastly, I think to go along with like fit and finish, premium parts, um, all of that is made possible because their shop is really small. Um, and it is uh, currently the end of May and Novo has just announced that they're gonna close their dealer network and, um, and sell direct. And I've spoken to uh, Matthew, who, who is kind of the like, director under Dennis Fano at, at uh, Novo, and he's doing most of the custom order stuff now, about custom ordering a guitar, and just heard the story straight from the horse's mouth. And basically, they were so backed up. Like right now, the wait time is something like nine months if you order a guitar today. They're saying nine months. And, and I've been around long enough to not suspect that it will be exactly nine months. It probably will take longer than that. If it doesn't, I happily eat my words. But let's say nine months, nine months backed up and people were just clamoring and they couldn't keep up and they couldn't get uh, other models in the store for, for the dealers. So rather than um, hire more people and make more guitars and potentially bring the quality down, uh, they decided we're gonna keep it small. And I think I heard there's only less than 20 employees or something like that that work for Novo. Um, so it's team building, but team building on a way smaller scale than what Fender does. There are way fewer hands that are going to touch your guitar. Um, and, and it really does come out feeling like, man, this is, this is a custom instrument. When you order one, you can choose everything, pick guards and control plates and bridge hardware colors. And th they, they have something, I, th I think they told me they've done like 200 finishes. Um, and I was like, Can you, do you have a list? And they're like, no, they've done so many that they don't even have a list. Um, and part of that is because they're just switching over to doing direct, but also they're willing to go, hey, here's a sample of a color I want. And they have some, just some fantastic colors, some that harken back to vintage guitars and some that are totally different. Uh, Lake Como Blue is one of my favorites. That, like, I, 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 I guess Gibson's done some like navy candy apple blue things lately. Um, maybe it's not totally unique to them, but it's like a color that you didn't see before. And, and you know, they're willing to work with you on those. Um, you know, they do, I saw a picture this morning of one in a purple paisley finish. So I know Fender's done pink and black, but I've never seen purple paisley personally with like a burst over it and relicking and uh, it was super cool. Um, so yeah, look, I think if you're in the market for a guitar that isn't like everybody else, is absolutely top-notch quality, and, um, and gives you the opportunity to seriously custom build for a price that, frankly, if I was gonna do this through Fender, um, let's say that like I wanted to make a custom J-style guitar through the Fender Custom Shop, would cost 30% more, Probably like if I, if I if I did the full custom build, it would be huge. And right now, you can check them out because of the back order. Um, generally speaking, you can you can get into them and get out of them for about the same money, um, which is which is always a nice thing to know. So, hey, look if if this was helpful, um, do me a quick favor, uh, push a like, uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. Um, this is a new thing for me. I've, I've done some YouTube content before under a different brand, um, but uh, I'm going to keep this one just for, for my own tone, uh, uh, thoughts, opinions, and sometimes reviews. Sorry, I know I didn't plug them in, but um, I mean, this one sounds like a T with a, with a dark P90 in the neck, and this one sounds like a J with P90. There's a zillion ways you can hear the sounds, okay? Um, I, I, I skipped that part on purpose. Um, I'll get them plugged in and you can hear them later or you can check out some other uh, YouTubers online for that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you have a great week. Everybody, it's, it's still COVID, so stay isolated, stay safe, um, stay sane, and uh, I'll see you again soon.